Number 5. Absol. Very cute but creepy at the same time. Maybe it's the body type or maybe it's the cat-like appearance but definitely scary with its very human-like face. That human-like face and appearance of the Absol are inspired by the creature in the Chinese legends called a Paitze or in Japan, the same creature is known as Hakutaku which means white marsh. Let me just call it Hakutaku from now on because it's just much more easier to pronounce. The Hakutaku are known to have 9 eyes, 3 on its head and 3 on its body, but the Absol only has 2 eyes and an oval gem-like thingy on its forehead. I guess that is a homage to the Hakutaku, making it look like 3 eyes. So, the Hakutaku, according to Chinese legends, are known to be highly knowledgeable about the creatures of the world. Surprisingly, it has even made a book. I mean, the Hakutaku made a book by giving all the information that it knows to the emperor of the time. Even so, the full book no longer exists, but fragments of it, or should I say quotes from it, are seen in other existing texts found today. The Japanese legend of the Hakutaku also says that it once appeared on Mount Tateyama in the Toyama prefecture and it predicted a deadly plague would come in the next few years, that is, at the time. So just like the Hakutaku, the Absol can sense danger and would warn the people about an incoming disaster. Number 4. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres They are based on legendary birds, like how they are in the Pokemon world, but rather than from one particular region like Kanto, these legendary birds are from different parts of the world. Articuno is believed to be based on the Simuru, a benevolent flying creature which can be found almost everywhere in the art and literature from the Middle East and its surrounding countries. But the Simuru was depicted a bit differently between the different countries. Some have different names, while some, if investigated further, would have the Simuru as its base of creation. There are so many different stories of it, but what is common is that it is quite intelligent and is big enough to carry people on its beak, claws, or even on itself. Then Zapdos was definitely based on the Native American legendary creature called the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird, just like Zapdos, are associated with thunder and lightning. They are both legendary creatures and are both giant birds. So in legends, the Thunderbird is a large bird that is capable of creating storms and the sound when it flies resembles thunder. Individual lightning bolts come from the glowing snakes it loves carrying around with it and if you see sheet lightning, it would come from its eyes whenever it blinks. The Thunderbirds, according to some Native American tribes, are known to shapeshift into human beings by tilting back their beaks like a mask and removing their feathers as if removing a feathered blanket. And finally, there's Moltres. What legendary bird do you think would be a fire type? You'd think of the phoenix, and you might be right. But some people believe that Moltres is based on the Suzaku. According to Wuxing, which is the Taoist five elemental system, the Suzaku is a red bird that looks like a peasant and is perpetually covered in flames, which is exactly like the Moltres. Also, the three legendary birds of Kanto has numbers in their name, and you count them in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Number 3. Ho-Oh. This is another legendary Pokemon based on a bird, and this bird is definitely based on the phoenix, specifically the Chinese legendary ruler of birds called the Fengwang, which people call the Chinese phoenix in English. The Wang in the Feng Huang means emperor which corresponds to the O in the Ho O which basically means the same thing. There are many different types of phoenixes from different parts of the world and different cultures, but the common thing with phoenixes are that they have an affinity with fire and could resurrect itself from its own ashes and flames. Exactly like how the Ho O is portrayed, it's portrayed as a fire type Pokemon and has been reborn by rising from its own ashes. It has also resurrected a few characters in Pokemon such as the three legendary beasts who became legendary after Ho O resurrected them. They are Suikun, Raiko, and Entei. Number 2. Golet and Golurk they are based on either automations or robots because it could fly. But since this video is about mythological creatures, we could say that they are based on golems. Especially the golem in the Hebrew story called the Golem of Prague because of the crack and strap on its chest. The story of the golem goes like this. It was believed that golems could be activated and animated by a certain ritual which involves writing various letters of the Hebrew alphabet on a piece of paper and forming a shum. 
the shum was then inserted in the mouth or on the forehead or even engraving it on the golem for it to be animated so there was a rabbi who managed to make one but the golem grew and grew that he was afraid it would be too powerful and would destroy the world in fear he hastened to remove the shum on its forehead succeeded and the golem returned to dust but only after inflicting a lot of damage to the man that created it number one Sermius, Iveltal, and Sigard. They are based on the creatures living in Yggdrasil, which is the world tree in Norse mythology, and they are all designed to look like the first letter of their names, which are X, Y, and Z. The Sermius look like a stag and is based on the Eikvirnir. The Eikvirnir are known to have glowing horns that drip with dew. They are an inhabitant of the Valhalla and eats foliage from the Yggdrasil. The Veltal's appearance is based on the hawk sitting in between the eyes of a nameless eagle that likes to perch at the top of Yggdrasil, which is called the Vedarfolnir, which seems to be the source of the nameless eagle's knowledge. Then finally the Zigard, especially its 50% form's appearance, may have been inspired from the Nithdegr, which is the serpent that resides at the bottom of the world tree and all it does is gnaw at the roots. But Zigard's 10% form, however, is based on Fenrir, the son of Loki and the one that killed Odin, as mentioned in my other video.